Zero. Zilch. Nada. Again, with the burping. What the crap? What the crap? Game? It's not the game, it's me, but still! What's going on, everybody? My name is Retro Gaming, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play You Be Funkies. Woo! Yeah! You guys, uh, you guys, you, you probably noticed that I'm not doing this series as often, right? Like I used to do it almost every single day. Well, now, guys, I'm doing this. Tr I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stick to a schedule, and I'm posting it only on Fridays. But the reason why I haven't posted in like three weeks, really, really, well, it is tradition to get robbed, like every single time so um be right back anyways before i was so rudely interrupted um w one thing that i've noticed guys is you guys don't seem to be enjoying the series uh as much as you used to guys like the the last episode that i posted only got like nine views or something like that so uh like previous episodes have gotten like what was it oh, sorry i'm going the wrong direction um like 40 views so, uh, I'm just gonna, I guess you guys don't seem to be enjoying the series anymore. So, I'm gonna, I guess instead of, like, in just enjoying myself and playing this game a lot, I'm gonna be ending off this series, uh, or at least the first season. If you guys haven't guessed, uh, today we're in a Paradox screen. But, uh, if you guys want me to continue this series, go down into the comment section, comment, continue, you be funkies. And then smash the like button. Like, freaking spam that sucker, okay? You gotta freaking spam the like button, alright? This video need this video needs to at least get four likes in order for me to continue this series. Uh, I'm probably gonna get a cutscene. No, I'm not. Ha. Alright, I didn't know if I'd been here yet or on this account or not before. Uh, my account reset, like, for the fifth time in a row. Move. Go. Thank you. Alright, so, um, what I want to start off with today, guys, is, um, for those of you who don't know, there's kind of a cheating strat here when it comes to getting, uh, Mulch and, uh, Ace's game. So, uh, since we're right here, I might as well just do Ace. So, um, let me just head into the Ace Hangar. Welcome to the Ace Hangar. I'm pretty sure these are, like, some of the fastest game items, but, um... But yeah, let's just let's just get into this into like the into like you know the seriousness. You guys, I really love playing this game. This is literally one of my favorite games in the entire world, besides like uh, Kingdom Hearts. Um, Skylanders really really isn't up there anymore. Skylanders kind of got boring for me. Um, it's just so repetitive. But uh, like you'll be funkies, Kingdom Hearts, and then just like Lego Dimensions. Honestly, that's become one of my favorites. But like. A lot of, like, I love the Toys to Life games and everything, but, like, you guys don't seem to be enjoying UB Funkies anymore. So, uh, let's get into this, guys. So, what you're going to want to do, guys, is I'll make a video on this separately as well. So, uh, you can just have it as any goal, but you go into the build, just go to objects, just place one object in, hit save. The game name, just put it in as, like, ASDF or something. Hit save. What this does is the way you get his game item and his trophy is by making lots of games. So what you're going to do is hit the empty slot, hit play. I mean, sorry, you're going to hit edit, and it's going to load it up again. So what you're doing is, is you're creating a bunch of games, right? Because the whole way it works is it's a game maker funky, and you have to create a lot of games to get the trophy and the game item. But you can cheat the system by just throwing in one random object, naming it different from your last one, and just continue to spam this system. And you just keep going and keep going and keep going. So, uh, I will be back, guys, when I... Because you guys don't want to meet... You don't want to see me put one item in, save with a random name, and then come back. So, uh, I will be back, guys, when, uh, I get either the game item or the trophy or something interesting happens. Alrighty, guys, so you probably have gotten to this stage now, and you, uh, if you're following along with me, uh, you're probably looking at this now, and you're, uh, thinking, Okay, all the slots are filled in the entire game yet I didn't get anything yet what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to delete a bunch of these that's why you didn't that's why you don't want to take a lot of time on these because you're gonna end up having to delete it anyways if you want the stuff um, because you used to be able to sh hit the share button and you could like put it up to the servers or whatever and then you could just play it from the servers but like you know servers are down they don't exist anymore so it's kind of you know, a bummer but um 
So once, uh, just delete them all. Uh, just make sure they're random, though, so that way you don't end up having to waste time. Um, but yeah, uh, just hit edit on a new one again, and uh, just continue the process. And uh, I think uh, the original amount that you have is like eight or ten. When once you fill it up, I'll have to check here in a second. But uh, after, excuse me, after you fill it up, I think you have to fill it up almost a second time. So uh, yeah, be back in a sec. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you have earned the Operation Flight Plan Trophy. So, uh, looks like, uh, after I completed, um, uh, after you've completed 10, you have to get to at least 15. And, uh, once you do, uh, 15 of them, uh, you get the trophy. So, I'm guessing I have to do a few more to get the game item, which is, like, his backpack. So, uh, let me grab that and I'll be right back. Smashing! Your game designs have impressed the Ace's top engineers. They are so impressed, in fact, that they are giving you their prototype for a new jetpack they have developed. Maybe the rocket power from this jetpack could be the strength needed to destroy the henchmen. I would have never guessed that you were such a connoisseur of things that explode. Alrighty, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now if we head back to our home, or is it crib? It should be in activities well, I actually don't know what it's in uh, entertainment there it is look now we have the prototype jetpack now one thing that I do have in my mind that is kind of annoying is uh, I had to close my editing look you can't put it on and I am ace I can understand if I was like say uh, like mulch Really? I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this today. Nope. Say I'm Rastro, and I try and put the backpack on. I could understand that, but not when I am literally Ace, who the backpack belongs to. That doesn't make any sense to me. And yes, my backpack... Uh, my backpack. Sorry. My house. Yes, I understand that it's absolute crap right now. Uh, also, I need to put my cars in here. Uh, but, like, literally, I have had to redo my house, like, so many times. This, this orange jugger just... Best car, 2017. My gosh. Uh, but I want to check out my trophy room and see what I've got now. So I've gotten a lot of trophies here. Looks like it's pretty dang nice if I do say so myself. Um, and uh, yes. Uh, let's go outside and uh, head over to the next area that I would like to uh, head to. So let's do it, man. Alrighty, so now that my mulch is deciding it wants to work, we're going to head over to the mulches area, and I actually want to try and do this quest here. Uh, as a mulch, I'm on a mission to educate funkies on the benefits of recycling and conservation. So I've created a quiz! Want to test your knowledge? All I ask is one small, you know, donation of a million dollars to help the cause. Yes, I am making a, a reference to certain things and happening right now. How many times can glass be recycled? I think it's like a thousand times? Nope. Well, I don't remember. All right, so uh, if you guys remember, back in Hidden Realm, uh, they had this uh, fiery pit where you could sell items. Well, excuse me, I just burped there. Uh, if you come here and say you, say you don't want this nasty couch, you can recycle it. Gosh, I am burping. Well, I haven't even really had anything. What the heck? Ah! All right, so the most will give you 35 coins for a yellow couch. And honestly, they literally, because it's recycling, whatever, I don't know what it is, but they, like, give you more money. So, Hidden Realm, I will not be selling things to you anymore. Um, uh, let's just head here. I want to see what's in the shop. I don't remember what's in the mulch market. Some cool plantos. Oh, our recycle bin. This needs to go in my garage, man. All right. Uh, what else? Oh, we'll just count this as, like, a garbage bin. And then I need... Oh, this one would be the recycle bin. Okay, now, okay, so if you guys, I don't know how it works for you guys, um, but uh, here in America, or at least in Iowa, we have to have three bins. We got to have, let's see if I can find it. Actually, I don't know where it would be. Other stuff? There it is. So we have a blue one for recycling, a silver one for garbage. Let me just move this stuff. I'm just, okay, so we have a blue one for recycling. We have a silver one for uh, our garbage, our, our garbage, and then we have a green one for our um, our like like our lawn stuff. If you know what I mean? There we go. Okay, so now all those are lined up, and then I can put 
Uh, my nice car. I'll park it here so I can still, like, drive out the garage door that doesn't exist. And then I'll put the junker right there. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry. The masterpiece of a vehicle. Okay? That's, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Sorry. 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 The masterpiece of a vehicle. All right. So let's head out into the mulch area. And uh, I'm just going to time lapse this. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to, like, speed through it so that way you guys don't have to watch all this fun stuff. I'm just going to, you know. Speed through it and have some cool lit. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that word. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, we're gonna have some spicy, a bit that better spicy music playing in the background whilst we uh, whilst we um, get Z trophy and Z game item. So yes, let's do it. Amazing! You've proven that you can reduce, reuse, recycle when it comes to creating games, and the mulch are duly impressed. They want you to take this unique energy source, the blustery turbine, and see if you can use it to defeat the henchmen. With the clean energy of the turbine, the mulch are convinced the henchmen could be turned off. Remember, though, the turbine is a powerful green gift. It's not an air conditioner for your crib, or a carousel for a quick horsey ride. Alrighty, so now that we have both of Mulch's and Ace's game items, we're not going to go get Tad and Rastra's. You guys thought that I was going to do a time lapse set. That's going to take forever, man. What we are going to do, though, is I'm going to stay as Mulch, and I'm going to go to the Great Gnomon Tree, because we can defeat this sucker right here. Let's do it. Quick! The Henchmen 2.0 are trying to reduce the bonds of the Gnomon Tree by pulling its roots from the ground. Use the Blustery Turbine to blow them back to 1.0. That should be the last time we see those bullies. Those hurricane winds blew them halfway around Terrapinia. The streets and our coins will be safe tonight. You have helped strengthen the Grand Gnomon Tree. If the Henchmen 2.0 ever make it back from their hike, they will surely be too tired to even shine their light on those mighty roots. Alright, so there we go. There's some there is there something in that tree? Those guys look like trouble. So yeah, there's rasters and then I think this is uh this one's Taz and this one's Mulches. I mean I mean I mean Ace has already defeated the Ace ones. Uh I mean the Mulches. I can't speak today. Oh my gosh. Let's switch over to Mulch so that way we can use his game item that we got. Alright, there we go. All right, let's go save the other half of the Nomen Tree. We're gonna be able to save only half of the Nomen Tree today, just because I don't, I don't really have time to like, you know, do two game items. That's a lot. So uh, yeah, let's do this thing. The henchmen are surely engineering something evil. Throw on that jetpack and rocket these metal hunks of junk away! Yes, you did it! I can't believe you flew those Burnout 2.0s over the Ace's foundries and dropped them into the Molten Forge. I'm sure the Ace will be having a great game of Kick the Can tonight. This is wonderful. See now the Norman tree sinking its roots deeper into the bedrock of Paradox Green. Now that's progress. Alrighty, so there we go. Now we have survived, revived, helped, magical growth to did this tree. Yes. So uh, there we go. Now we have two uh, roots of the Gnomon tree uh, repaired. So yeah, I want to head back to Funky Town because there's somewhere else that I would like to head today to try and see if we can get more progress in the story done. So yeah, let's do it. 
Alrighty, so now we're in Funky's Town. We're gonna play some Museum Mask Mayhem. I know, I know, I know. We've played this quite a bit, but I mean, it is it is working. We already got, you know, we need to do a little bit of grinding. Kind of, sort of. Like, I mean, seriously, like, we have no gem shards. Zero. Zilch. <laughs> Nada. Again, with the burping. What the crap? What the crap, game? It's not the game, it's me, but still! Dang it. Dang it, nab it. Alright, so, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? I can I, 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 yes. Yeah, buddy, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless at the moment. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier, I will be doing a tutorial on how to get the uh, gem shards, not the gem shards, the game items uh, for Mulch and Ace. So uh, stay tuned for that uh, if you guys are interested in that. Uh, also, I'm going to see if I can try and find, oh, crap, really? Oh, there we go. The time, I'm going to try and find the time to do a tutorial on how to install UB Funkies because I would get in that question quite I can't even do anything what the heck I can't do anything I literally can't do anything I couldn't do anything there was nothing to do whatever all right we'll play one more round we'll play one more round before we do the last thing to end off the episode um, but, uh, I don't know what I want to do after this, honestly, because I'm trying to think of what I, there's things that I'd like to do just because for the fun of it, but there's also the fact that I don't want to be repetitive because something that a lot of other YouTubers have done with UB Funkies is they leave everything in, they're not professional, and you get to see everything, and most of the time you don't want to see everything, because think about it, if you are playing, uh, say, a game with cutscenes or whatever, this game kind of has cutscenes. But, like, if you're playing a game with cutscenes and you're playing it mostly so you can find out who's under the mask of the villain or what happened, you know, like, I want to know what happened to a certain kidnapped person or something like that. You don't want to watch this a YouTuber play it constantly and, like, get nowhere in the story. Like, that's not something you want to see. You want to YouTube see a YouTuber who can get to the point, man. You want to see someone who can get to the, the juicy stuff, you know, the spice and juiciness of the game. And uh, I don't want to be a YouTuber uh, that just sits here and doesn't get anything done. Because I, I, personally, I loved Four-Sided Balls comedy, but, like, I just didn't, like, enjoy watching their full episodes. Uh, just because it just, it, 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 it they drew, my, they drew my attention away constantly because I got, I got bored. There was nothing to watch except for just their comedy, and I didn't, I didn't go to their channel just for their comedy. Yes, I went there for their comedy, and because, you know, it's forced at all, I can't really do anything. Again, alright, whatever. Uh, but, like, you know, you wanna, you also want them to get to the point. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's just, um, I don't know what to do, man. What do we do? Hello, 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 Gabby. We, we'll be Gabby, yes. Why not? Sure. We, we will play Gabby's game, alright, guys? We're gonna play Gabby's game today. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be spicy goodness. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be, it's gonna be juicy and spicy at the same time. Like, 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 like when you go to a Chinese restaurant and it's, oh, we got some nice juicy things in here. Look at them fat lips, boy. Oh, that's not even big. Look at the big one. We're gonna get the big lips. Thousand coins. Worth it. Let's do it. Let's go put these new juicy lips. But like I was saying, it's like when you go to a Chinese restaurant and you get like the sweet and spicy... What, what, what even is, am I trying to say right now? Like the, the, like the spicy. I don't even know what this, this. I'm sorry. Well, you get the the things, you know, like the the sweet and spicy chicken, and then you're just like, oh yes, yes, I want this so bad. Right, where's the fudge? Is this lip? I want my lips. Hey, where are where the crap are my giant lips? I want my giant lips. That sounds really wrong. Really wrong. But we're just gonna roll with it, all right? Is it in other stuff? No. What the heck, man? Activities? Oh, yes. It's an activity. All right. Oh, yes. This is the best activity ever. I'm going to have it real low. All right. It's time to have... Okay, guys. This is rated M. Nope. Nope. I, I, I wanted some nice alone time, but they moved. Creep, 
taking the fudge out. Alrighty, guys, so I got to thinking. You guys have never seen uh, Angus Manor here in Funky Sun. I've never shown it to you guys. That and see this sewer hink? The hink, yes, the sewer hink. Yes, the best sewer hink in the world. No, the sewer uh, thingy grating protection thing here. Uh, if you go ahead and you click on it, you can throw a coin in. You might be thinking, that's wasteful. But if you keep spamming it, you have a chance to get a certain little creature as a pet. Let me just make sure I don't have this pet already. Uh, pets. Good, I don't have it. I'm not going to be wasting my money. All right, so uh, you just have a random chance of getting it. All right, I'm only going to do so many coins. Uh, when I get to 875, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, buddy. See, and now you can walk up to it and you can, oh, not, never mind. But there you go. So it just, it, sometimes it just takes a long while and a lot of money, uh, but you can get the alligator pet. It's going to load. All right, Angus Manor. So here you guys go. Uh, this is kind of like the online store. Oh. Um, let me, uh. I'm gonna get a like non microphone bad quality cutscene for that here for you guys in a second. Um, but let me just so if you look at the help desk, it tells you how to use your funky trunk and everything. And if you talk to Angus, he's pretty much the shop. And uh, what you used to be able to do is oh my gosh, stop lagging. What the crap? Okay, um, so you could buy different things and you could go to here. So yeah, you need to have you need to be a registered funky and you have internet and all that fun jazz. So uh, yeah, obviously you can't have that. You know, because of reasons, but, but whatever. Uh, let's just um, pull up that cutscene for you guys. So, my friend, what do you think of it? Of what? Why, Angus Manor, my home, of course. You see, through my travels, I've been able to amass quite the fortune, and this... This is how I've spent it. Through my travels in the in-between, I have discovered many a treasure, and through my experimentations, I've created many a game. This elevator leads to where I keep everything when my lab gets too full. Despite all that I have found and all that I have created, though, there is one treasure that no matter how hard I search, I cannot seem to find any more of. This is a keystone, and it is the only keystone I have been able to find. It was during my first adventure into the in-between when I discovered the existence of the funky familiars that it was given to me, an odd-looking familiar of a kind I had not seen before and had not seen since gave this to me. I just know that this can be the only keystone in existence, but I have not yet discovered where they may be. I admit it's a... A bit of an obsession. As a fellow explorer, if you can find the source of these keystones and bring them to me, I would be ever so grateful. Alrighty, guys. That is going to have to end this episode of Let's Play You Be Funkies. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like rating down below and, uh... Just so you guys do know, uh, just like I said earlier on in this episode, if you want this series to continue, I need to have some likes down there. You gotta pound that like button. Like, just, like, take your take your phone, computer, tablet, whatever you have, slam it into your face, and that's how you hit the like button, okay? You just slam your face into the like button. Actually, I think another YouTuber says it. Sl slam your computer into your face to hit the like button. There you go. That's, that's technically not what another YouTuber says. I, I, I don't know if YouTuber actually has, even says that anymore. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Let's Play You Be Funkies. If you did, hit that like rating down below. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play You Be Funkies. See you guys. Peace out.